Okay, welcome back, and now let's do an example. So here we have this complicated looking thing, okay? And um, if we didn't have u substitution, then we would have to expand this thing out and then do it term by term using the power rule, okay? Um, or we'd have to look for something else. But, but here, in this case, we can make this much simpler by just doing a U substitution. Huh? Now, here's how I see how to do U substitution. I've got to look for something that I can make U, right? So I've got to make U... Um, something, a function, and then where I see du in there as well, g prime of x dx, because then I can substitute in dx with this, so I've got to have something on the inside where the derivative is on the outside to do the u substitution, and the derivative has to be in the numerator if it's a rational function. So now, notice that U, if I, if, now look at I have the x squared here. Well, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and right there, there's a 2x. Now, be careful. <clears throat> I would not make u equal to x squared, because I still got this constant in here. So since the constant goes to 0 when I take the derivative, there's no, there's no reason why not to include this. So I'm going to make u equal to x squared minus 3 because then I can make this whole thing equal to u. And then du still gives me my 2x, dx. And so now I can do my u substitution and I get the integral of u cubed du, which is really, really, really nice to integrate because then I just use the power rule. And so it's going to be what? It's going to be 1 fourth u to the fourth plus c. But now here's the thing. I started with x. I need to end with x. Okay, so whatever variable you're given, whatever variable you start out at, you got to make sure you end in that variable. Everything has to be in terms of the original variable. So in that case, it's going to be 1 fourth x squared minus 3 to the fourth power plus c. And that's the answer. Have a great day.